what's up and welcome back today i had i would call it i would actually call it one losing trade but i actually took two because yesterday i was trying to figure out how much do i lose per tick or per dollar on the us 30 it's looking like about two dollars per tick i can actually show you here let me show you and i also want to apologize in advance i haven't found which price matches the funding pips price the best but i'll just show you something about the ticks so it's looking like about um two dollars per tick i'm not sure why but we just have to work with it so three eight i'm looking at my entry price here so three eight nine six eight right minus three eight nine nine eight it's a sell position so of course you're gonna get a negative when you do it like that and you can see that my total loss was 15. so price went against me 30 ticks and with a 0 0.1 that actually amounted to 15 right so am i correct there or is it yeah how do i get to 15 now so it's either it's either two dollar per tick or 0 0.5 i think it's 0 0.5 per tick yeah it's 0 0.5 per tick or dollar on the us 30 when you do a 0 0.1 that's how you get your profit or loss so i took three losing trades these were actually just tests so i went with a 0 0.01 to see what that was like it's something is off yo trading us 30 is strange because look at this this one is a five dollar difference and with a 0 0.01 i have five dollar loss but this one was a 30 dollar loss and this one actually turned into 15 which is very strange i don't know if it's something with the broker but it's a good thing that i can document point this out very clear very transparent so let me just show you the three trades they weren't three trades they were just basically examples this one didn't get stopped out for much because it was a very very small size so i'll just show you here so i entered a sell at eight so that would have been 20. so i entered a sell here i was able to stick it through and then i got stopped out at 10 a.m there and we're looking at us 30 you can actually see that the RSI does show you some indication because you can see the RSI showed you the bottom here. You could have entered to the upside and then it also showed you the top where you could have entered to the downside if you didn't get stopped out. And then when you had that little, that little pivot there, that could have been your exit. Hard to know when, but that could have been your exit or even somewhere on this candle for sure. I'll show you my entry. So I entered at eight. You know we're gonna have a little funniness with price. So I entered at three eight nine seventy. And then I got stopped out next day at three nine zero seven five. As price went up, and that was actually at ten. So you can see. Would have been part of this candle so i entered somewhere on this candle and then then i got stuck stopped out on this week here the price is a little different of course because i'm not using funding pips funding pips charting because it's a little different the next trade i entered at nine with a 0 0.1 just to test as well keeping my stop loss relatively safe with a 15 dollars stop loss because I'm not risking too much on this for an example just to see what price is reflecting. But with a 0 0.1, it's showing me that I get 0 0.5 per tick. And with a 0 0.01, I actually get $1 per tick or $0.10 cents per tick. This is showing me $0.10 cents per tick, I believe. Or $1 per tick here. So strange. Because this is $30 move. This is a five. This is not a $5 move. This is okay. It's it's accurate. It's accurate. So it's 0 0.5 per tick. Because this is a $100 move. 
$100 move. So it was actually five cent per tick when you're going with this. As you can see, I entered at 38970, got stopped at 39070. Um, this next trade now, so I got stopped out at 10, at 38988, total loss of 15. Point two five. So I entered somewhere here, got stopped out on the next candle. You can see I had a pretty tight stop loss here, especially with the size. It's easy to get stopped out with that size. Looking at one a.m., that would have been your perfect entry, perfect, perfect entry for a sell. Could have taken it to the downside. Close out at eight a.m. here. The final trade I had was a buy side trade, and then I actually got stopped out. So at some point I was in profits, then I moved my stop to break even, expecting price to go a little higher. It didn't, it came and stopped me back out for a 0 0.88 loss, which is nothing. I'm good with that, but I would have rather to take some profits for sure. But I noticed that moving my stop to break even hasn't been playing out so well. And sure, when I start to not move my stop to break even, moving stop to break even might be the play, of course. So I basically got stopped out at my entry price. So there's not much to show here. I can't show you the previous previous stop loss, but my stop loss was about 30. I think it was about 30. So if you were to re-engineer this, what? would a $30 stop loss look like a $30 stop loss would actually look like 60 like a $60 move here so with a buy side trade like this my stop loss would have been at 38867 or no 38877 8877 so you can actually have a real understanding of where my stop loss was so my stop loss was like that and then i didn't get stopped out on this candle because of where i entered but then price would have actually came and stopped me back out at around three or two when it stopped me out it would have stopped me out at two for sure because of that week there but I move my stop to break even by this time, especially at 12. If I don't take profits by 12, I'm moving my stop to break even regardless because that's the perfect time for the market to reverse against you. Now let's get into my watch list stocks. So we start with Bitcoin as we do every single day. So Bitcoin is actually went down a little lower. So we're at 6.9. 353 we're still in the range and that's the thing with trading something like this like if you're trading it on a higher time frame you might just be in a range for a very long while until you break out of the range immr so we're coming down a little lower at 9.74 nothing too crazy because immr is still holding above seven and it has held above seven for the entire time bit farms a little sell off i'm sure yep but not much just down 0 0.07 so bit farms is at 2.4 now so not doing much but as you know i'm not touching this again nvidia did it already do the split nope nvidia closed at 1207 so monday morning we're gonna see it at 120.7 which is gonna be very nice people might start to pile in again the next one is AMD, but I had planned to replace this with ASML, or I probably should just add a column. Let's just add a column here. I'll just put ASML here and just start tracking it. I'm not going to add all of those. So AMD at 167. So you can see nothing really from AMD and SMCI. Did you do anything? SMCI went a little lower. So let's start tracking ASML. So ASML, we have it at 110, 10.28. And this looks like a candidate for a stock split from how it's moving. Very interesting. I've never really taken note of this stock, but it definitely is moving in the background from five. It's 
already done a hundred percent since this year. Is that accurate? No. Almost at a hundred percent for the year. Very interesting. So let's actually write what I don't know what happened today. I don't have much insight on the market. The only thing I know about is the roaring kitty and GameStop shit, which looks very it's just so funny because this guy is basically I don't know if he's pumping the stock, but he's getting a lot of people excited. People get excited, and then the day when something is going to happen, the stock sells off. People lose so much money, and it's so gamified, and it's like glorified losing, which I find stupid, because why are you in the market if you're going to lose money and celebrate? Are you retarded? Because think about it. People are investing in this to make money. They're not investing in this to lose, and this guy is probably showing that he's losing which doesn't seem to make any sense to me because the point we're all in this for is to make money it's not to gamify this and look like a retard look like a degenerate gambling a large amount of money we're here to make money make profits so it's very interesting to see where what's this did jamie have earnings today himself had earnings which is very I didn't even know they had earnings, but he has a lot of calls. And I heard he was down about 200 million on the day. He had a live stream today showing his, showing everything, showing his portfolio and all of that, which is crazy. But I'll just document what I saw today. So NVIDIA closed higher, still value. More than Apple, nothing, AMD, SMCI, and Lamar holding up. Bitcoin, range, Tesla, same, holding up. ASML, higher, not 100% for year as yet. That's it for today's video. You'll probably see two videos today after messed up with posting the other one last night so i'll drop that and also this video so i'll see you in the next one